What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Black, your internet relationship and breakup coach. Today's topic, this video is your sign that no contact is working exactly the way it should on your ex. Now, if you are watching this video extremely anxious because you're getting to the point where you think it's over, you know, your ex has already told you the worst of things. They've told you to move on. They've told you to go find someone else. And maybe you even kind of see that they're entertaining the prospects of dating someone else. And obviously that is so emotionally hurtful. And you feel, you know, what was the point of them telling you all the things that they did? What was the reason why they told you that they will be here forever? that we will have a life together forever and how much they loved you. Just for them to almost spit in your face in certain ways, to just kind of flip it like, you know, the last couple of years, just it didn't matter. And we should just move on like nothing ever happened. See, I want to share this story with you today because something amazing happened this weekend. And it's really, one of the craziest stories I've experienced since I've been doing this. See, sometimes last year, I remember coaching a, long, a young lady. She was going through so much. She was in so much pain because she was going through an unexpected breakup. And the worst part of that breakup was that her ex was starting to talk to someone else. Her ex told her, hey, it, it's, it's done. I just don't have those feelings anymore. And I remember our first conversation, <clears throat> we're kind of going through the background, um, the relationship, what things were like. And I remember as she was expressing the depths of the level of intimacy she shared with this person, I remember looking at her and telling her, I said, hey, Relationships of the, this magnitude, connections that are this deep, they don't just fizzle like this, okay? You know, sometimes in a relationship, people take you for granted. And if you think about even your loved ones, maybe if you have a brother or sister, siblings, <clears throat> best friends, you might have experienced, you know, sometime in the past, maybe you're texting them and you know, they leave you on red at times and you're feeling kind of like, hey, like you just kind of left me hanging. But what's always amazing, anytime I've experienced this in the past, anytime I pulled back to any significant extent because, you know, I just felt like they weren't appreciating me. Always the people that mattered, you know, the people that deeply cared about me, they always came back and they always attempted to make it right. Whenever they circled back like, hey, I've, you know, I feel like I haven't heard from you in a while. It's like, oh, hey, things got busy, you know, and so on and so forth. But they always found a way to make it right because I was an essential part of their story. I, I was an essential part of their story because I meant something to them. So I remember talking to this young lady and I was telling her these things and she was just struggling with this. And, you know, we went through the coaching. I told her, hey, you know, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do no contact and so on and so forth. We had a few calls and I remember things were starting to turn around where she was start, starting to hit her stride, starting to feel confident again, starting to believe in herself and really getting to the point of, hey, I know I was an asset. I know I added value to this person's life. So I'm no longer chasing. But I just got an email from her this weekend. I'm going to paraphrase here so I don't give too much away. But she said, I just wanted to tell you, you helped me last year when I was at my lowest. You made me hold myself responsible it was one of the most challenging times of my life. You made me go through discipline. You are appreciated. Now, you know, I get emails like that all the time. And let me just say, if you've ever sent me an email like that, thank you. And this young lady, if you happen to watch this video, thank you for sending this. 
What made this message a million times more powerful was she attached a picture of her and the ex that we were talking about. They got married, right? She said, we're now married and it's been a very healthy relationship since we, since, since you and I last talked. Now, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm no miracle worker, okay? Uh, as much as that picture and this message means to me, and let me just say, it, it really does, it's a blessing to have the opportunity to impact, have some share of an impact in someone's life that way. But at the end of the day, her and this person had to do the work together, right, to make it work. The way I see no contact is this. Imagine if someone, right, was just dropped on planet Earth, an alien, right? They never, you know, seen cars and cell phones and computers. So, you know, they were just dropped on Earth and, that, and someone put them into your care. And so you're showing them around, teaching them things, showing them how to drive or like, you know, this is how you put on clothes and so on and so forth. So let's say you teach them how to drive, right? And you set them on their own, they're getting better at it. And so one day you're at work, you're kind of doing your own thing. They go out to just drive around the neighborhood. And an hour later, they run back to the house where you're at and they're talking to you. They're completely out of breath. They're like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're like, hey, what, what, what happened? They're like, the car, it's, it's not working anymore. And you're like, what, like, what do you mean the car is not working? Like, you know, like what happened? You're like, well, I was driving it and it just, it just stopped. It's just kind of not moving. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do whatever I can to, you know, get you a new car, you know? And you're like, well, what did you what did you try? Did you did you see if there was any gas in the car? And they're like, gas? <laughs> what's what's gas? All right, to them, the car was completely salvaged. It's not something that could be fixed. But to you who has experience obviously driving cars and being on planet earth you know well one of the most cost effective ways to just kind of figure out what's going on with the car well let's see if the tank is empty right put some gas in the car and let's let's see what happens in a lot of ways doing what i do in coaching people through breakups and no contact it's it, it's literally the same thing to you in that moment you're like the relationship it's done it it, it can't be saved coach this thing is not gonna move you know and you're like you know I tried I changed the tires I you know I tried to pick the car up I tried to flip the car upside down nothing I do seems to work and I'm like did you put gas in the car a lot of times this is all attraction comes to is giving someone giving the relationship just that right jumpstart putting some fuel into the vehicle and so instead of destroying the car instead of salvaging the car instead of buying a new car it's like hey why don't we walk to the nearest gas station get one of those you know those red things <laughs> put some gas in there and put it in the car and see if the car won't run a lot of times space is that necessary ignition, right? The, the necessary fuel, that gas that the relationship needs. In most cases, it's not necessarily over. Now, it doesn't mean that the car doesn't have fundamental issues that need to be fixed. Because sometimes the car might need some gas, but also maybe there's some spark plugs that need to get changed. I'm, I'm not a car guy, as you can tell. <laughs> but there's other little things that need to be fixed in the engine, for sure. And these are the things that you will address after no contact. But for most people, the most crucial part of this thing is to allow time and space to do what it's supposed to do. If you can trust 
that no contact is working exactly the way it should, you're not going to end up causing more damage to the vehicle than you should by trying more detrimental things that by the time you're done, now the vehicle is not even going to move, right? Because you took out the steering wheel, you, you know, you flip the car upside down. You're trying all these things as opposed to just letting them go for a moment, giving them enough space to regret the decision that they made. I remember talking to this young lady and she was like, it's done, it's over. And today they're married. I'm not saying this to tell you that there's no issues in your relationship that, that um, don't need to be addressed at some point, and they will, right? But instead of trying a million things willy-nilly, just do the one thing, give them space. We'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna say this in closing. So I was talking to a client this week and he's going through something that's vastly similar to the client from last year. And what's interesting about his case, because the ex is starting to potentially entertain someone new. And so there's a lot of fear in his voice. There's a lot of urgency. There's a need to do something now, right? And this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is that you put a false timeline on attraction because you're trying to, like you've made the breakup a problem to solve. You know, think about the example I gave of the car that, you know, all that's wrong is that it just ran out of gas. So, you know, you have to walk maybe a mile down the road, go to a gas station and so on and so forth. But if you don't have that understanding and you're like, I need to fix this now, I need to do anything, you know, maybe you'll take uh, a cup of water and put it in the gas tank because, you know, it just needs some kind of fluid, right? And you put it in the gas tank. Now, when you actually get gas, it's shot, <laughs> the engine shot, you know, and the vehicle actually stops working. There's so many times when I talk to people, I'm like, I wish you would have booked a call before you did all these things, all right? And, and if that's you, if you've already made mistakes, it is what it is. Just stop making more. Don't create a false sense of urgency and say, I have to fix this right now. That is not how breakups work. That is not how attraction works. A lot of times it just takes a moment of silence, a willingness to let go. Because the reality about love is that it takes two anyway. You cannot make your ex do anything that they do not want to do. It's impossible. And if you truly understand that and you know that what is for you can never be withheld from you. Right. And if there was a long span of love, intimacy, attraction, getting to know each other's friends, family, all of these things, that is not easily replaced. That's the reality, regardless of what your ex is saying. So this is not to create a false sense of delusion. It's for you to understand that trying to force things in most cases, is literally similar to putting water in the gas tank, right? Just because you have a bottle of water right there in the center console, you're like, oh, well, the car is out of fluid. Let me just, it's not going to work. Stay in no contact. And trust me, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And when there's enough space, always, the people who care about you, the people who valued you, will always start to second guess. They'll start to have second thoughts and they'll want to connect again. But also you've taken that time to rediscover yourself, to realize, yeah, there's something unique and special about me. And so I need to start carrying myself with the same swagger, seriously. And that way it's a lot easier to attract them back. Anyway, 
If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future videos that I put up. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the like button for me. If you want to talk about your situation, click the first link in description and I'll be happy to help. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.